Yo, what's up, Nico? A little mental epitome. I think they all seem decent, to be honest. Hmm. This feels good, I will not lie. Oh my god. Oh, it feels really good. I will not I will not lie. SD feels crazy. I mean it's first game, but still holy.
my gosh. <laughs> he got fucking cooked. Oh my goodness, so much damage. <laughs> We have four. <clears throat> I can probably pick up this kill pretty quick off respawn. Yo, Laura, appreciate you, man. Yo, what's up, Chomp? I'm on a plus home instead. Dude, rip pink class, man. No, I turned the wrong tab. It doesn't matter, he's instead. You're so fucking helpful! You did so much! You had so much impact! Thank you! <gasps> what? What happened to my return? I'm dead. I drew it. We still killed Dead Eye. Uh, our druid does not have hands. Oh my gosh, we get nuded too. Oh. I would like my team to start side noting far so that I can zoom around the map a little bit faster, but we'll see. I mean, we're 2v4. That was really bad. I just have to sack him in player life. I mean, he did really good because we had a downstate 2v4. And then I just match the Mesmer, I think, is far. Our Ranger should really go into home. No, I no ported twice and I got plus one. I think we still went all the same. But yeah, goodness. Christ. No, he's they're AFK. Oh, please. Losable. I think we win with just mid or just home. 
Yikes. Druid working on figuring out how to turn his camera. Yikes, man. Alright, so the smartest thing here is to actually sack this and go middle instead. So, like, I could chase Grim, or I can just be like, okay, you can have this, I'm gonna go kill here. Because we have this cap. They actually overcommitted to home, and my Puggy's 2v3 middle. What's my take on Mesmer changes? Um, I talked about it yesterday. I mean, the TLDR, I think, is that Mesmer got nerfed on on the support build a little bit, but it's still really good. Um, my take on Power Mesmer is it's probably fine on comp with the support, but I think it's like a comp spec. Uh, I, I don't really enjoy playing Mesmer um, as a whole. Like, I, I don't really enjoy playing any of the Mesmer builds right now. I just like other classes more. I find them more fun. I caught up with Anya. SD, what's up, Z? I hope SD actually banks. I won't lie, Zeromus. I'm pretty sure SD won monthly Saturday. It 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 it, it cooks. It it actually cooks. Like now, whether or not it's good enough to be actual meta, not really sure. I hit 10k on 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 dash. Like the, here's here's let me explain why it's so good. First thing, 10% mod. This is actually proc'd out of combat, and it's proc'd by things like roll for initiative, right? It's 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 proc'd by flanking strike. So like. It's up basically permanently. So you have 10% off fluid. You now have Havoc Specialist functioning consistently. And this is like this, the Havoc Specialist change is actually so sleeper because it's it's 10, it's another 10% mod basically. And then I like playing bound. So that's 15, 25, 35, just flat. And then you have, you know, 240 power increase, huge, uh, perma regen, perma vigor, like you actually can cleanse. You have you have perma swiftness. Like it's really 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 good. Damn, feels really good. If only you had a source of smoke field. I mean, I kind of like the SD metas where you can stealth your team. I mean, you could drop. Sh I I actually do not think that dropping shortbow in some matchups is even that troll, anyways. Like, if you wanted to play like SDDP or something, like you could. It's just in some matchups, I think shortbow is just way too good. But like, if it was like a lot of like Ellie's and stuff, shortbow actually does not do well into Ellie in general. It's it's better into stuff like Guardian and Mesmer, generally. I mean, I could see it, but then you can't blast anyways, so it's like kind of goofy. This, I, I was actually, when I was specking earlier, I didn't want to play it. And I was like, this is what the homie used to play. This is what Toke liked. So I was like, I'll play it. And it feels, it feels okay. I think the sad reality of Infosignet is like, 
We're just taking like the the broken ones like like Bennett's defense is just so good now it's a, almost a two second block stun break 24 second cd is just really good and it, like especially comboing with sd where you can like pour it in and then knock someone down for two seconds is really broken so i was like Bennett's defense is probably broken bp is probably like okay this is what pain won monthly with i think this is really good too like j just for damage like it's it's pretty good especially because aoe it also like lets you port on people people melee and like between the weakness the blind and the vol and it's hard to like counter pressure you i mean i think they're all fine to be honest this is probably just a literal playstyle thing i tried these i think these suck i wish staff was good staff is one of those weapons just because of the nature of the design you don't want it to be good because it's like it's very easy to play and it's very monk ass you just spam and do big damn and get rewarded f without having to play that good. I really hope they don't nerf this. I think this build's really fun. Like, just the like, the nature of the spec in, in particular, I just think has always been really, really fun in my opinion. It's not yeah i mean i agree I, I like i like sd sd dp was easier to apply because it was it was more friendly to making misplays sd and like dp had a, an extra time to plus someone because when you would go invisible they'd have to guess where you were going to pop up sd was just about like this pure aggression and speed of, of basically saying you can see exactly what i'm gonna do if i play good you can't do anything about it dp like had a lot more of like guessing game nature to it of like stealth and just the nature of stealth is either really shitty defensively because you can just get revealed and then your whole class doesn't do anything or or you just get to basically be perma stealth and it's a guessing game and it's very unfun to interact with is is the way that i usually like to think about it are we jamming double double thief on you is that what's happening Although I don't, th I don't know if I want to play Infill into this, into this comp. Because, like, Infill is basically, like, chase or reposition. On some maps, I also think it's better than others. Because, like, if you get target, it's always going to be really good and consistent. But, I mean, it's good into Thief. I think it's mid into the Mesmer. I think it's mid into the Scourge. I'm really afraid of the Scrapper, to be honest. I'll probably just respect Scrapper. Also, we have double thief, so like, I want to like spec for like one v ones a little bit more, and not like plan to like rotate as fast. Dude, look at Anya ripping his PVE title, noob.
All right, I'm okay with the team opening on me because it means they didn't open on my team. We're like really outnumbered because they're free capping middle, which is fine. All right, Anya's going for node, which is fine. I'm looking for the thief to match. Or I'm looking to plus one Anya. Their comp is really, really cringe. We have four. We're outnumbered, so like even though like we're close to getting a kill, I think we're kind of trolling because if we mess up, we just die. I say as I shut us up in for no reason. Uh, he even got a kill. Our team got value middle because we were outnumbered far for so long, which is fine. I'm gonna just start training the Mesmer. I I I don't give a shit about anyone else. I'm always a big believer in just focus the fucking support and make them use their CDs selfishly. Like, as I started focusing the Mez, we started killing, like, his team. Because I can- I can solo the Mesmer. Like, whenever you're playing a DPS that can solo the support, fucking go for it. No, I saw Thief, just thinking about like sneaky reses and stuff. I'm not gonna play for decap because we killed three. So I'll just commit to the yeah, perfect, perfect. Scrapper's here in stealth. Care, 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 care. Steal on him so he can't pressure my thief more. being really patient with like poking and stuff because I don't want to get one shot. I just want to live here because Anya's already leaving, which is correct. Uh, definitely don't like that. the days. I, I tried to sword tier before I returned with shadow step, but I actually had to stun break first. Because I wanted to greed the double port return. Man. 
Scourge with Hammer Cata, Scrapper, Daredevil, and Bunker Mesmer is really annoying for DH and Mechanist. We have a nice 2-cap here. The Hammer Cat is looking at home with the Necromancer. I want to get kills wherever the Mesmer isn't, so I'm going to let them be outnumbered far and instead I'll play for the kills on close. We have four here, so I'm probably gonna die. That was really greedy, man. Oh, we lost far too. Yeah, we, we, we outnumbered far, and then we sacked that, and then we got a kill home. Oh, this choice is huge by kill switch. Or not by kill switch. Who, who's resing this? This bomb? Yeah, that's actually really big. The thief needs to cleave that. Now I have to commit to this. If we lose this fight, we probably lose the game. He got the full, but neither of. The kid didn't rally, so this fight's actually still V-Lost. I think I sacked this on you. I'm not gonna get trolled, because now that that fight's over, like, all- what, we've had three people die? This is a dog shit only one for me. Like I said, wherever the Mesmer is, I just want to go fight somewhere else. Yeah, I think their comm is just too tanky for the puggies we got because we just got the mech. I mean, definitely winnable, but it's going to be tough because we're also going to have to match far. Which has scrapper, like because they basically have three win cons. We need to play for the node, we need to play for the, the mid, and we need to play for beasts. I think beast is actually most important. I don't even know if I make it in time. <sighs> I didn't have time. Man, Strapper is so fucking cringe, dude. I hate nades. Unluckies. What a nice colored title. Thank you. Welcome back. Thanks, man. It was a good trip.
You know what's funny though? I actually didn't even like Bandit's defense that game, which is weird. Like, I expected to, like, feel like it did something. Definitely didn't rotate fast enough. I think we needed to just dodge more of the team fights off the opener as soon as we were like, oh yeah, they have a Scourge that's pressing buttons with the, the, the Bunker Chrono. Mostly because they didn't have anyone that died fast. Oh, they have the fucking bot mechanist. This has got to be like some like really like, you know, it's a boomer gamer that's just playing for fun, you know? Yancey. Is the cope real? I mean, I like SD Thief. You guys should have seen the first game I played. Holy shit, it was cooking. I should throw Anya's ass on like Harb or some or Necro or some shit, you know? You know, his thief is he's got old man thief now. Not what it used to be. Should he should really let the zoomers, you know? I mean, respectfully, of course, like, of course, but, you know. You're not a fan of getting farmed? Yeah, you definitely have to press your buttons. By modial stance. Chonky. What the sword weaver is going on there? Balls. Oh, he got the bounce fight before I could go up. What? got a core NG. Hmm, he's on twists. We're losing sides. I'll go be a 1v1 or 1 or 1 or 1 or. I'm just kidding. I don't want to fight. I'm just kidding. Let's fight.
<sighs> because we lost sides, I didn't. I left middle, but the fact that we like won home and lost middle is kind of goofy. I mean, not the end of the world, but definitely goof. Honestly, Infill Signet feels better than I thought it would. Uh oh, my weakness. Just jumping over my skills, Randy. Epic keyboard turning. No crits, man. L. Dude, cl cleansing damaging condies on dodge is crazy. Oh my gosh, you actually chunk so hard. I'm dead. Teammates? Thank you. Mod. Plus le uno v uno. Just peeling. They're gonna. There's no way this kid self reses, right? Like. Damn, that quick and dagger didn't hit. That's really goofy. Full signet bangs! I'll never take it off my bar again. <laughs> We're losing this game. That's so crazy. I want to plus the Guardian off respawn because we're playing to basically not sack mid, but just lose mid, and then we can just defensive tempo like player lives. I wish I was critting like slightly more because I'm already playing the crit chance increase variation of like Rune and Ami and whatnot. We won mid too. I probably just plus middle here. That's fine. If I had a pug off respawn, 
to go home, I would just go home, but it's fine. I'm like super zoomy, so I'm not really worried. No one's 1v1 far. I think Anya's got maybe a kill close. What the f damn, that was fast. Dude, the whatever the condition uh mods are on mech, they tick really fucking hard. Like XYZ, Condi does more damage. Like those were chunking me. We're, we're playing to sack middle because our guardian's going far. So like this is going to be the loss because he's probably going to get free A. And then I'm plus one on the map. So like we're just not going to be playing to win middle. Yeah, see, and if the if the guardian gets a 1v1 like this, which is great, gives me a free plus. Because like I, I always want to be looking at plus ones if I can help it. Shh. Sleepy time. Oh my gosh, man. I love SD. Oh my gosh, man. Mud. This game is probably dead. is tanky as shit. I'm gonna just leave. This is taking too long, and Anya never plussed me. The whole, the whole like, value of me taking 1v1s is if, the, the, because the thieves can basically plus each other, but when he doesn't, it, it's just kind of clunky. Like, see right there? Like, all he had to do was plus me. Instant kill. Instant value. Damn, that's a frame one. We're getting trolled. I don't want to 3v1 this. Like, I can, but like, we can just get other kills for free faster, which is what we've been doing for most of the game, so.
Stomp everything because it's endgame. See how Anya has a plus one? I'll instantly just leave him plus him. I'm gonna sack mid, but I'm actually okay with that because I think we win with one. Like, this is a 1v1 he'll win anyways, but just like the key emphasis is that. The thieves have to like really work together. Cooked. 24 and 0, 600k dam. Based. Noria, Twitch Prime, four months. Thank you. Appreciate you. Dude, Anya and I together, we each have like 500k dam and like 21 and 24 kills. I'm really curious what Sigil Zanya is playing. Well, this is what I'm playing right now. I've been kind of fidgeting with it as we go. I'm really not sure about this sigil. I, I don't know if it matters because I don't think any of the sigils are that good, but. Yeah, Anya says he's playing Opportunity. Which is probably fine. Double swap. This is probably like DH. Fine with me. Dude, infill, infill signet gives you so much like, so it's so clean. Like your ability to like chain stuff together. Shit, Anya. <laughs> Dream's on sword, so I don't have to worry about him. Kind of do nothing spec if you just run away from it.
Grim kind of trolled by matching us because he's playing a spec that can't chase the thieves. And on top of not being able to chase the thieves, like... He gave us value in the 2v2 instead of forcing us to outnumber while he could outnumber something else. Damn, he's greeting for the full kill. That's crazy. Also, he's super fucking tanky. We got him, he's dead. I think basically our game plan for this game should just be fucking ignore Grim and kill his whole team as fast as possible. Dodge nothing. I reflected all the thief shit on him. He's dead. Grim doesn't know that I'm rezzing, which is why I went invisible before I started. I have to be careful because rezzing this generically is pretty troll. Oh, Grim's mad. I'd be mad there. What the fuck? I see you, Anya. I got the awareness of... ...of a peepo. See how, like, we reward Anya for his, like, value, like, in roads? Because if Anya dies there 1v2, it's like, does sh he's, he's feeding. But if we come in and just give him a quick little hand, it's everything. He's gonna blow like 10 more defensives, so I just don't touch him. Always ignore people on bunker builds that are low impact. Like what Grim's playing only gets value if I look at him, but it's always gonna be optimal for me to just go kill his team and ignore him and pretend like he doesn't exist. I don't have a lot of juice to help Anya, so he's just gonna have to figure it out. What? He precasted that. That's crazy.
No. Just kidding. Dude, I love SDT. Like, it's it actually is so fun. Locker dodge. Boop. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. I'm dead. No, tether is so unfun. I have one, I have three people accounted for because I put the scrapper on respawn and then I took a 1v1 with a thief and I got plus by the DH, which is 1v3 value. Anya literally just got 1v3 by Grim probably. Or 2v3 maybe. I'm teasing on you. I'll leave Anya to 1v1 Thief. If I see Thief, I'll like repop up, but... Bruh. Wait, how did Anya die? Oh, Scrapper killed him. Fuck. This is the this is the magic toker spot. He's dead as fuck. I don't want to get hammer five, so I'll just dagger. Yeah, there it is. I'll just dagger storm proactively. Saves the headache of using other defensives when I can just trade one big defensive. Dodge tether. Also, rule for dodging tether, dodge the projectile, not the cast. He dodged so I can go in.
my gosh, she's actually got tons of vision. The reason I don't plus one the DH instantly is because I want the DH to like spend some time using cooldowns in his 1v1 so that when I plus he dies faster. When you plus someone and they have CDs, they're going to live the longest possible because they have the most defensive options to choose from. Oh my gosh, dude, we're cooking actually. Dude, I love SD. Love SD. What's your main attack if not backstab? Uh, to be honest, everything on SD kind of bangs. Like, your damage is coming from, like, Cloak and Dagger, Sword Autos, Tactical Strike, and then flanking a Larcenus in SD. Chunks, man. Chunks. Uh, for the people that are asking about the build, this is what I'm playing right now. How's my hero rolling forward? I use the about face key. Um, I'll, I'll after I leave the build up for a couple minutes, I'll, uh, I'll I'll show you what I do. One 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 three evade three five runaway one, <laughs> something like that. It's fun to watch this. Yeah, this is one of my favorite favorite builds to stream. Signet of Agility, the cleanse. Um, agility is pretty bad in my opinion. Like I know that most, I think a lot of people talk highly of agility, but like just compared to what it used to do, I I I don't think it's very good. But if I mean it's a playstyle thing, like if you like it in your playstyle, that's a hundred percent fine. But I definitely think other. I I think I can do more with other stuff, and then the the way that I roll forward is what you do is you you hold up so you about face and what that looks like is this. This is about facing. So what I do is you hold down you hold down W key, and you hold down left click on your mouse, and then you alternate when you're walking forward. You press about face, holding down W key and left click on your mouse all the time, and then you'll walk toward the camera, and you just tap it, and then after you tap about face, then you tap right click on your mouse while holding left click the whole time, and then you just go back and forth. So what I do is, I basically will do that quickly and go like this. You can do a stuff like Shrepo 3. And roll for initiative. It's basically what, it's like 3 inputs? It's it's not it's not too hard, you'll get used to it. Why bound? Um, so I'm playing upper hand, because I think upper hand is absurd. And then I'm playing bound. So, so this is what I'm gonna say. I, I was a Mesmer player, right? I played I played Mesmer in POF launch uh, in its peak um, when we used to play Elusive Mind, I think is what it was called back in the day. Uh, stun break on stun break on dodge. And when the, the way that it went was Mesmer played a trait that was not best in slot for a long time. And later on, they added the exhaustion mechanic to the trait and we played it for a really long time. And then I en we ended up moving off of the exhaustion trait to play something else. And we realized how wrong we were because of how strong the exhaustion mechanic is as exploiting a class. So basically, because exhaustion exists on this trait, I will never play it. Because when you get immobilized and you're like, oh yeah, but you can dodge while immobilized. It's like, yeah, but you get no endurance regeneration for four seconds. That is a very, 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 very long time in Get Wars 2 PvP. So, and, and the thing is, there's no internal cooldown on this. So when you're playing against things like Reapers and Holosmiths, where you're getting crippled and chilled constantly, every dodge is basically depleting your defensive resources, and it's part of what makes it feel like Thief can't stand fights. So as a result, I have never played Unhindered Combatant. Like, I do like the minus 10% Condi damage and minus 10% incoming damage, but like, you're a DPS-oriented roamer. I don't really care about specking for sustain, because my job is to run around as fast as possible and get kills. I'm not really trying to have damage mitigation, I'm trying to have damage evasion. So what that basically means is, if I'm playing against uh, a Dragon Hunter and he true shots me, I'm not trying to build tanky enough where I can get hit by the true shot and not die. I'm trying to use different resources so that I have to evade or block or blind or or something the true shot in some way. So in context of minus 10% incoming damage, 
I don't really care. I don't want that. When you get 15% extra damage with no downside and you can combo finish your leap inside of water fields when you're like 1v1ing rangers and stuff like that, it's a lot of gas. Um, so that that's just my preference and my play style because I think exhaustion is really, really bad for Thief to deal with. You can get a mob and die. So while I'm immobilized, I can evade with three. I can evade with three. I can port out with two to someone else or I can return. I can withdraw to cleanse immobilize. I can roll for initiative to cleanse immobilize. I can shadow step if I'm an immobilize and I can dagger storm. So like if I die to immobilize, it's kind of a skill issue because I have more than enough defensive resources to kind of manage getting immobilized like every other class in the game, you know. Again, like being a Mirage player and playing for a long time where you don't have to respect um, respect immobilize. Think of it like this. This is this is a really easy this is this is my mentality for Mesmer. When I could dodge to stun break, that means I had a dodge to dodge the stun I got hit by. So my mentality is the, the exact same thing for immobilize. Like instead of using my dodge to get me out of a position I was in, I should have been using that dodge to not be in that position in the first place. And that's always been my philosophy for 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 trait and interactions like that on, on defensives. The other thing is like when you're building your class spec and like your traits and whatnot, like you really want to be thinking about what am I trying to do in ranked, you know? Man, only 1k HP. I'm gonna try this, honestly. I'm gonna try Infiltration. I'm gonna be really squishy, but... I'm not critting. I wanna crit, like, slightly more. This trait's really good. I actually really like the design of this trait. I don't know, I don't know whose creativity came up with this design, but I think it was really good. I really like the acrobatic straight line. Thief barely ekes out? Um, I don't know if that's necessarily true. I don't think that it's you need so much damage. I think it's that... Oh, this is the Chippy Chippy Choppa song. Dude, this is so meme. Hold up, there's a different playlist I wanted to click before the one I clicked. No, I think we're going to, I think I want to stick to like some of the hard shit. Owd. R. Rip chippy chippy. With acro, it's a lot of, yeah, exactly. It's a lot of damage mods. Can you mention how to counter double mez versus double mez comp? I mean, you can't. That's why these all, all these bunker specs are so fucking lame and boring. I think you just it just demands more. Oh, it's Kyoshi. Dude, Kyo Kyoshi got fucking cooked. <laughs> Ow.
Dude, AK cluster, holy shit. Oh my gosh, the the worst timeline. How the fuck did I get tethered? Get over here, Kyoshi. Like, think of like things like DH with like the tether, it pulses cripple. So like every time I dodge while tethered to not get like insta-killed, it cripples me. Oh my gosh, please stop dying team. No, this is this is my cope for the day. Balls, balls, one, one. Do that a mob, fuck them. Balls. No, the fucking blind, tragic. Yeah, I knew that dodge in was stupid. I don't think I'm dead, but I could have died there. Oh, fuck. Oh, so greedy. Oh, so disrespectful of us. <laughs> Anya, 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 Anya. Oh, ain't touching that shit.
balls. Dude, I love SD Thief. Overly greedy. Yeah, we're just having like so much fun. Like I don't even like want to play smart and like my interactions and taking fights. Like I just want to go. You know, I'm I'm kind of like limit testing is how I'll put it. I mean, I was limit testing versus Grim too. I mean, that's part of the fun of like new new buffs. Was the old SD build use crit strikes instead of acro? I mean, there's been a couple iterations. The OG was Deadly Arts, Trickery, and Acrobatics on after POF. Before that in core, you played... There was two variations. You played 20066, or you played 60206, um, depending on Deadly Arts. But you generally didn't play crit strikes for, for SD that often. I think crit strikes generally through most of core for Thief was was not considered good. No, Arthur Blackwood. <laughs> oh, I missed. Oops. What's the new acro elite trait? Elite trait? There's a new acro trait. Trickery has been borderline required since forever. Yeah, but I think Thief would be too good if you got the freedom to play another trait line. I mean, you have to remember, like, Guild Wars 2 was designed in core. Every class got five trait lines. A mechanic-based trait line, two defensive and two offensive. Whatever the mechanic trait line was has almost always been mandatory on every class in the game for the longest time. It's like Virtues on Guardian... Illusions on Mesmer, Trickery on Thief, Discipline on Warrior, Soul Reaping on Necromancer. Like, whatever the class mechanic trait line in is, is typically mandated. Arcane on Elementalist. Um, Rev didn't really have one in the same sense. I mean, it, yeah, definitely not. But anyways, so like that design is something I actually like about Core Guild Wars 2. It made a lot more sense. It was better than what you have now. That's like saying we should incorporate all the things on illusions that I love so that they can just be based to pick up extra trait lines. Like it just it, it makes things more problematic. Because basically what, what the goal is it's saying like we need another free trait line, which is which is what that does. Because if you remember Core Guild Wars 2, you actually didn't have three trait lines, you only had two. You had two and a third, not three. That was actually one of the biggest power creep mistakes they ever made for this game. 
Oh yeah, someone asked for my skins earlier, and I'm sorry, I didn't reply. It's the Ascalonian Catacombs Dungeon Reward Track Weapons. Um, but you can get them in PvE pretty easily. It's the it's the easiest dungeon in Guild Wars 2. You just get the dungeon- well, I guess now you can get any dungeon currency, but that's what they are. You never play that early? A lot of a lot of the issues from Guild Wars 2's current meta came from moving away from the core design. I remember the old Heart of the Mist. I do too. Would you recommend confetti infusions on Thief? Uh, I don't know. I've never had any of those. Is Staff Thief any good now? I don't know. I don't. I don't play Staff Thief very often. So if it was good, I w I wouldn't be the guy to tell you. exactly sure what kind of music i want like i want something that's like hard but like not not like club you know i don't want club music and i don't want i don't want like rap either hmm let's find something that goes hard what the mama mia I could play Post Malone. That doesn't go hard. It's pretty chill, but I'm a Posty fan. The weekend. Like, is that vibey? Beebcore. Goodness gracious. I'm going to just try this, and then if it doesn't work, I'll just go to the normal one. Never mind. This is just way too fucking chill. Oh, you actually guys, okay, you guys want to hear a fucking crazy ass song? I've been listening to this song. I could loop this song. I, I actually might just loop this song for like an hour. This song goes hard. Dude, for SD Thief, this is the song. I'm sorry. I, I discovered the sauce. This is just, this is just the song. Ah, uh, dude, this song. Oh my gosh. I might have to turn it up. This song bangs. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> Give me my headphones. I need more. I need more. This song is not enough. I need I need higher audio quality. I need more of everything. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. R, 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 R.
Dude, Hammer Vindy is really good right now. I actually really don't like taking the Spellbreaker 1v1 because Spellbreaker is just really fucking tanky and it takes too long to kill. Yeah, this kid hit me pretty fucking hard. Give me that node. What the fuck? I still got tethered from that. I'm gonna ignore this. 1v1ing the warrior is by far the worst thing I can do. Like, I'll, like, I'm okay to tease it just in case he's on like some like strength or greatsword shit, but I wanna play smart and take good fights. I don't have steel yet. I can't help Anya. Yeah, you gotta see all too. Oh, and he randy dodged? Yikes. Oh, and he had RF. That's bad. Scrapper's here. I'll plus one scrapper in a second. Eve's looking at me. <sighs> I just poured in the little bender and died. We have no team right now. I think our will benders died twice in under a minute and a half. All right, so what have I looked at this game? I looked at the warrior once, so that was bad. Boy, start playing the game, baby girl. Great job. What the fuck? He has so many evades! I wonder how hard I actually do get to plus this. That was a sexy stow by the pug. Holy shit. Is a dodge. Still has a dodge. Oh, that's actually not good. Go hold this mud. Yikes. Uh. I think Warrior Vengeance, which is fine. How did we lose that? Someone was just not in that fight. Yeah, like he's on the node. Like, hi, buddy. Oh my gosh, Mesmer is so dog shit, dude. I just, I mean, I mean, it's not, but. Ugh. The design of it is. Ugh. Oh, man. I tried to shadow step up here and it put me in the center. That sucks. Our Druid's got a full cap 1v1 against the Warrior. The Rev's free capping and the Willbender is dead again. Our Druid seems pretty healthy, so if he just holds that 1v1, like that's actually really good for us. 
Yeah, we're winning home. This is great. He has a dodge. There it is. I'm going to start focusing their thief because I have a feeling their thief is harassing my guardian. And I don't like that. Oh my gosh. And harassing me. I'm just taxiing so I don't insta die. I'm probably dead. Balls. Based. <sighs> Am I dead? I am on it. How did I? What did I get stunned with the second time? Bulls charge. Because daggers, are, oh, the daze plus the immobilize. Yeah, that's just a feed for me. Feels bad. PVE coefficient goes burr. I wanted to salvage the third node because after they outnumbered the warrior and they killed the druid, if I can hold the warrior or at least kill him, like you just salvage all the negative momentum that just happened. Definitely greedy, but... Yo, Anya. Oh, Steve is gonna kill me. Yeah, I can't do anything about it. I see, I see, I see. I don't think I get this, to be honest. No, it was so close. Dude, I hate warrior. Ugh. Dude, Anya and I were outnumbered for so long. Holy shit. What the? Interesting.
Ugh, Mediguard. Still giving me a hard time in 2024. Okay, this song sucks. Wait, yeah, my song didn't loop. What the banana is? What did they change so hammer's viable? That was staff. That day's on sort of so long. Yeah, it's crazy. How am I doing? I'm doing well, demo. How are you doing, demo? Warriors or turtles? Yeah, staff warriors are really good. This must be one of the hardest books to play. Um, maybe. You won this mat? Good stuff, man. You were with Misha. Well, is it you guys won with what? Kata? FA Kata, Support Chronomancer, SD Thief, Staff Spellbreaker, and Dead Eye, I think. Right? Something like that? Yes, no, maybe so. Short bow hollow. Gotcha, gotcha. What's my ping DPS FPS? My average ping is usually sub 20, um, but this week it's been 20 while my family is awake. Um, my average, yeah, see there it's 11. My average is usually around 11 to 15 ping um, with a high of 20. My FPS is usually around 220. I play with all of the lowest settings possible. Holy nanes. Oh my gosh, that's so sick. I've never done that. I don't know how much of a difference it makes, but it's cool micro spacing. <laughs> what is my refresh rate? Uh, I think 144. I wish I had a 240 hertz monitor. Or 240. Makes no difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Dude, hot take. I don't like having Mesmers on my team ever. But it is what it is. Hi, buddy. We have dub dh dub thief with a vert Ooh. hey man you're really annoying Don't do it. Actually, is he on mall? No. I'm gonna do something goofy this game. I'm gonna play DP uh, or SDPD because I'm pretty sure uh, PD offhand banks.
Banyaners. Okay, hold on. Now I can loop the SD song. This is the SD Thief song. I'm pushing far. I'm not team fighting at all this game. Oh, my seal's on CD! He's power. Oh my gosh, that read was nasty. I saw into his future. I even precasted the first auto. <laughs> Anya needs to be plusing faster. No cappy on a stacky. Holy bananas. Bro. You chase me so hard. Uh oh. We're depending on the pugs. It's about to be three down states. We have a DH. He delivered. I'm gonna plus one this close. I'm actually just gonna let Anya team fight more and I'll just start plus in close constantly. I actually hold this. Oh my gosh. I even was aware and I didn't fucking do what I needed to do. Ooh. That was a pretty massive throw, but you know. Yikes. This fight is dog shit. I'm gonna leave. Bye bye. Balls, man. Every time I swap. I decap this and then I can test top. I could have committed to that. Oh, I'm gonna hit the work. Balls. Fuck. Sid the Unseen. It's RF.
Yikes. I actually got fucking one shot, man. Ouchie. I mean, we won the whole map. I think that toast with eggs is grieving or wizard amulet. You do not test mesmer changes? Dude, I don't like fucking mesmer, dude. I, the class is fucking lame. Like, they want me to play, like, infinite horizons, like... Fucking dodge, dodge, dodge. I want to play like Shatter Mez, you know? And I'm okay with not playing Shatter Mez, but I'm not going to pretend like it's like, whoa. They buff dueling. I mean, which were good changes. It's just, I don't, like, I genuinely don't find it fun. I'm not complaining. I just don't want to play it. I think it's lame and boring. Puggies are fighting. Just play a lot of Signet of Illusions? The whole class is cringe. I just don't give a fuck. It's like, it, it's always been unfun to play against Mesmer, which is fine. But like, the class is at the point now where it's actually just unfun to play. Like, with like, support chrono. Like, I'd rather like, drink paint. Really, really boring. I-M-O. all in garbage i mean but like condimez is bad i don't even think condimez is good i wish condimez was good i'd play a ton of oh gosh i'd play a ton of condimez if it was good you just don't win 1v1s like the fact that you struggle in 1v1s like how am i supposed to hold a 1v2 when i'm struggling with 1v1s against actual randy pugs like i have no idea who these players are and i can't 1v1 them it's the ultimate, like, don't play this class type of thing. The other thing is, I hate playing Mesmer and just having terrible matchups. I'm like, I don't win this, I don't win this, I don't win this, I don't win this. This counters me, this counters me, this counters me, this counters me. I think power is good in comp, for sure. And power was fun in comp, you know, with within reason. But, like, outside of that, it's like... Cause like I'm a ranked only player. Like I don't care for ATs. I don't care for you know any of that crap. I just this is endless. I assume. Okay. If it's endless, the raid is probably not good. This is endless. I cannot wait for people to start being like, um, can you stop playing the song, please? No. Oh. Oh, it gives T5 mats? Garbage. Get out of here. Is Power Mets that bad? I just don't think it's very good in ranked. I mean, if you're like... I think the higher level your games are, the better it is. But one this is this is one huge thing and this is this is gonna be like i'm a power mesmer i'm a power mesmer player like uh, i don't think there's that many people in guild wars 2 that have that many hours of power mesmer that many more hours of power mesmer than me like i've been playing it since since pre hot and i've stuck with it through like its worst metas there is so much counterplay to mesmer that just no one takes so it's kind of like they get it like a lot of other mesmers are getting away with a lot more than than they should because people just don't understand like people don't take the time to play it people don't take the time to understand how it works people don't take the time to understand counterplay and like weaknesses and like what you're looking for like like whenever i would go eu and play and this isn't intended to be like disrespectful to you players at all but in like the period of time where mirage had one dodge and like mesmer was considered like really really bad i would go play eu at sometimes 
And I would just play against people. They'd be like, oh, wow, I didn't know Mesmer could do that. Or I, I like, and this is like, I'm not talking like, like E Randy Platts. I'm talking ATs, like five stack ATs. And we would, and I would play versus people. And they're like, oh, wow, Power Mesmer, that's kind of scary. They had, it was kind of scary because when people didn't know what to do against it, it just eats you. Mesmer is still in that position. And, and people don't take the time to, the only team that knows how to handle a Mesmer are the teams that have Mesmers on their team. In my opinion, generally speaking. And like, of course, there's like sometimes pretty good thieves that play, and the thieves know how to deal with the mesmers. But I, I just really don't like playing mesmer and ranked. I don't win with it, and that could also just be an unbad thing. And I'm okay with that, you know. Do I enjoy any mesmer builds in ranked? None. I uh, when I right before I streamed, I was queuing a little bit before I started streaming, and I was like, wow. Like, I guess I'll play Mesmer because I was playing Reaper and I was like, wow, Reaper is pretty good. Um, and then, you know, I was goofing off with Warrior and Holosmith and, you know, whatever. And then I, I was like, I'm going to play a game of Mesmer. And it's the only game of rank that I've lost today besides the first game I played with Anya. I've only lost two games today. One was because of matchmaking. One was because I played Mesmer. And to be honest, like the losses are unbearable. Like I had, you have like 600,000 damage. You have, you know, one or two deaths. And you pump, but like you don't you don't pump enough. Like you you output damage, but it's a rate that the other team can out sustain and just like constantly heal and heal and heal. So because like if you think about it, you're doing one of two things on Mesmer. You're playing as like a roamer for power mesmer that can take 1v1s if they're good. And especially in this metagame, a lot of your 1v1s are shit. Especially with how good Warrior is. Because like before it was like, oh yeah, Druid is like king. And then stuff like Holosmith was favored if you play the right version of the build. And it was like node intensive and stuff like that. Now that you have Druid, which is still unwinnable. And you, know, you add Warrior, which is also unwinnable. And then you have things that naturally have always countered you like Thief and Guardian. Like it's just, you're basically just looking for Necromancer. But the issue with dueling into Necromancer is you have zero cleanse. So... So they put like weakness on you or blind or chill and you're just like sitting there like, oh, I'm losing. Like, so I think the main reason that Mesmer has been seeing like an up an an up like an increased rate of play is because I think it's very good in comp and I agree with that. But, but again, you, you really need that support to hold your hand. And in ranked, like, you're you're going to get games where, like, you have, like, core NGs and two thieves and, and you know, Necro with no support and no side noter or all DPS, you know, like, people... And, and, like, on top of, like, not having good comps really consistently, like, people don't know how to play comps or counterplay comps or rotate generally. Like, just very basic things. So, like, when you play in ranked, I just think it's, like, too disorganized because I think Power Mesmer thrives in organized play for sure. But outside of that, I I do not think it's a good rank spec. My thief, Anya, the e girl hunter himself. You wouldn't say that? I definitely would. Anya's a menace to society. I'm a hot e-girl, where's my DMs? Nah, Anya's, Anya's rizzier than that. He gets the e-girls to slide in his DMs. Like, that's how prestigious he is at e-girl hunting, you know? He doesn't, he doesn't even put bait in the trap. He just puts, he doesn't even set the trap. He just has a trap and they like set it up for him and then they jump in it and they're like, alright, Anya. R. <laughs> Oh, that's so cringe, but actually hilarious at the same time. <laughs> I hope he's not listening. He's not He's not reacting to any of my baits, so... Probably busy with the e-girl. <laughs> Damn, big raiding games, actually. Climbing.
<laughs> Why not enjoy Power Mesmer? It, because it's not fun to play. I, it's not that like losing and winning makes a difference. The games that you enjoy and play well and have fun, you're probably going to end up winning because the things that convert to a win is like winning 1v1s, winning 1v2s, rotating, having high kills and low deaths for DPS. Those are the types of things. That's the type of gameplay you're going to experience when you enjoy playing the game. And that's also going to be the highest contribution possible to winning. That's why I'm saying like, I don't care about winning and losing. I play for fun. But when I'm having the most fun, I'm winning. The two coincide with each other. Like, I, there's no way I'm going to lose five games in a row and be like, you know what? Honestly, I had a lot of fun today. I'm going to be like, well, some of those games are pretty good. It sucks that they did X, Y, Z. I'm going to call it like, but if I win seven games, I'm going to be like, dude, this class is so fun. This class is so good. I've just been running around zoom and killing people. And on Mesmer, I just don't get that. Like, here's the other issue. Losing on Mesmer just feels so unbearable because like no one else plays it. Like on NA, like I, I don't see any power mesmers. So like everyone, like people are like, hey, why don't you play power mesmer? It's like, cause it fucking sucks. If it was good, everyone would be playing it. That's always been my opinion. And I tried the dueling changes because the dueling buffs like were very good, like perma fury. But like I had already had the opinion that I didn't like dueling, which is why I was playing illusions because you don't have cleanse. And when you play dueling, you still have that same issue. And the issue is you had relic of evasion. So you actually already had perma vigor on either build and you know, you can play Fireworks now, which is an extra 10% damage mod, which is good. But I, I don't think, I, like, the issue wasn't damage. No one ever was like, oh yeah, Power Mesmer doesn't do enough damage. They were like, Power Mesmer has no fucking cleanse. Power Mesmer has no resustain. Power Mesmer gets annihilated by power damage because it's a light class. Power Mesmer gets eaten by Thief and DH. Like, those are the things that we talked about with Power Mesmer. And those things haven't changed. Remember when the people e-girl hunted Miss Pepper and she what? I actually saw that person in in game today for the first time in probably two years. Yeah, that whole online thing is complicated. It's one of the things that always kept me out of it. Yeah. Holy shit! I'd be I'd be molding. Dude, Shorpo bangs. Get in there, Sue Vision! I don't know what this song is, but it's really cool. What? Oh, you double touching animal! Like, watch, watch, watch. POV Power Mesmer. Watch this. I click two. I click two. I click two. Wow, Power Mesmer! Power Mesmer is so good! Oh my gosh! It's like, no, it sucks. It doesn't do anything. Hmm. Look, he just died in natural fucking causes. The Moa Pug based. Kalki in NA. Good Moa, buddy. Proud of you. Don't do it. Don't. POV me all of 2017 versus Anya's fucking SD thief. Holy shit. 69. Thief spawn. 
Wait, he didn't even full cap. You animal. Get your ass back on that node. Get over there. Bad pug. What a giga chad. He's like, cap it pussy. <laughs> What's the safest DPS class spec to play right now? Maybe Hollowsmith? I mean, it kind of depends, because, like, it depends on, like, how skill intensive. Like, I just feel bad, like. It de I think it depends on, like, like, if you're talking about, like, easiest in terms of the class has the most, like, potential to live, and easiest as in it takes the least skill to live long. Because there are two different things. Aren't they in an IRL relationship anyways? I am, but like that- I'm not talking about me e-girl hunting. I skipped that phase. God bless. I mean, I, I still would like talk to like some of the female gamers because some of them are really chill. I won't lie, some of- one of, one of the biggest things that made me stop talking to like most of those people like even if they're great it was like you'll just run into a couple where you talk to them and they're like oh you're obsessed with me it's like nope never doing this again never talking to you you're weird weirdos when you play thief you spam you definitely shouldn't spam Just watch, I'm sure a lot of the Mez players- I don't think anyone cares anymore. Like, no, there are no Mez players. There's not like a single loyal person who's like, Oh yeah, I play Mesmer through thick and thin. There's none. Like on NA and EU. Like, I genuinely am not like, Oh, this person's like a super loyal Mesmer. I mean, I'm not even, I don't care. The class is super dog shit. In my opinion. Dog shit for ranked. Unfun for ranked. Outside of like the bunker specs, right? I'm talking when I'm saying Mesmer's dog shit, I'm talking about power mesmer specifically, in my opinion, based on the current game state, right? Like I know that very obviously it has very, very broken mechanics, right? I'm not I'm not that guy that's like my class is in a decent spot. I get that, and I'm just like complaining that I think it's unplayable because like I want it to be broken. It's not like that. And I and I understand like Mesmer has a ton of broken mechanics. I'm saying it's dog shit in terms of the design has always been unfun to play against when like even when the class isn't good it's like oh yeah moa is like really cringe i don't like getting like moa chrono was unfun to play against 100 percent understand that power mirage like the infinite horizon shit always super unfun to play against so the issue in my opinion when i say the class is dog shit i mean that it is unfun to play against and anti-fun gaming for the other team and in my opinion i don't find it fun to play so based on like that take for my objective opinion i'm not talking like I think Mesmer's bad, no one should play it. Definitely not saying that. But I'm saying, I don't personally enjoy it. <clears throat> Powervert is garbage. Dude, every time people, like, encourage me to actually play Powervert, and they're like, are you sure it's still bad? I just... I mean, it, it, it has cool gimmicks. The thing about Mesmer is that the things that it can do well are usually gimmicks. And, like, that's the ceiling. Like, that's the full ceiling of it. It's like, it can it can gimmick this one interaction, but outside of that, it's not consistent. Because that's basically what a gimmick is. It's just why you put it in quotes? Yeah, of course. Have you tried Powervert GVG? Yeah. Mesmer is insanely strong in PvE and in Warby World, as it's been forever, just not in PvP, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. I actually I actually like when Mesmer is not good in PvP, because like I said, it's anti-fun. So I, I don't even like playing against Mesmer. Like when Mesmer is like good, 
and you play against Mesmers. Like, I remember running into Helio when he was playing, like, support Chrono and ranked and CJ, and I was like, wow, this is just so unfun and lame. Not with support, it wasn't Power Mesmer, but it is really unfun. What the fuck? <gasps> Doze. Dude, Anya and I are on a little bit of a tear. If I get to 1700, I'll stop. I'm definitely going to try and put all three accounts in the top 10 this season. It's kind of like a ha ha. Ha ha hee hee. Dead game, lol. Yeah, I'm playing Mesmer just because you're dogging on it. Interesting. Doze, look. Doze. It's not... Doze, you have to understand. It's not that Mesmer's bad. It's that I'm bad. But you're good enough where I believe that you can make it work. Because you're him. That's all there is. Will you play today, Mesmer? Probably not. <laughs> and you just got fucked. <laughs> I saw that in my peripheral. <laughs> oh, that made me laugh. <laughs> How do you enjoy Warby World roaming? Uh, you play a different game? Question mark. I think roaming is terrible. I was watching, um, I don't know, I don't know if you guys are familiar, uh, her name is Chomp. She, she plays Mesmer only, she plays Power Mesmer in Warby World, and I was watching her play and I was like, ugh, this game mode is just so bad. I would definitely say Warby World is like, the like, there's, like, it's pure shitpost. It's not even like casual, it's like shitpost casual. It's like, you just have to be, like, Warby World players, if you can enjoy roaming, you're either one of two different types of people. You're extremely toxic and dog shit at the game, or you're just one of those people that can have fun doing anything. And it's mostly, it's more that you're enjoyable than what you're doing is enjoyable or the context or the people. I would definitely say that all worthy worlders fall in one of those two categories. You're gonna be like absurdly PMA and not caring, or you're gonna be like unbelievably AIDS. That's almost always the worthy world rundown. Don't fuck around in the pit. Dude, people get mad in the pit. Anytime I touch someone in their pit, they're like, you didn't bow. No 1v1. Damn, that hit me. Actually, it didn't. Oh my gosh, homie got molested. If this smoke scale kills me, I'm gonna punch my desk so hard. Be gone, thought! I choose life. Dude, hammer on Vindy hits so hard. I'm the two type? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only fun you get out of it is being able to roam with your guild group. I miss when like solo roaming was like its own thing. Remember when like people would like post content for this game and like they would post videos? It was like, it would be like group roaming and like small fights and like zerg busting and then there was solo roaming. I wish when solo roaming was an archetype. I thought those videos were like super, super, super cool. 1v1 arenas? Me, uh, me too. I think the pit was actually one of the worst things because if you remember back in the day when you had like the dual servers and whatnot, people actually grinded and like got pretty fucking good by by being dual server players. Like they were mechanically quite good. There's no such thing as a good pit monkey. Like they do not exist. I've never seen like a pit player and I'm like, oh, this guy's actually like gotten pretty good. It's just it's just 
Cancer. I think this design add to the map killed the whole purpose of hot joins, and I think hot joins were way more productive for having a casual experience where people could learn the game. Also, much more sh social in my opinion, because when you, like in this, like you can just constantly fight the next person, fight the next person, fight the next person, always pressing buttons. But in the old nature of like dual servers, you would like have downtime in between, you would ask people if they wanted to duel, you would be really respectful. I might have spent several hours as a 13 year old kid spawn camping people in dual servers and trolling and getting banned. But like that dynamic was fun too, because you could just moderate them. And, and it was great. It was fucking great. Roamer streamers were more popular. Yeah. Is it always better to do in ranked? Yeah, always. Because, because basically, like, one thing you have to understand about Gersu is matchmaking actually plays a very large role into your wins and losses and the matchmaker is designed to try and make the teams two two parts the matchmaker is designed to keep the teams even and then the matchmaker is designed to make certain players win and lose certain games based on rating right so like whenever naru and helio or in cj like if you're like 16 50 and above the matchmaker is going to give you games. It's going to try to give you games where you should lose. So your teammates are always going to be significantly worse. Now you can be in a game that's so low level. It doesn't matter because the other team just evaporates. But the matchmaker, dude, how many times have we played Coliseum today? Oh, we had three Kylo games in a row. Nikes. This is the best thief map. I'm definitely not complaining. Black hand. He said perp. I don't know who that is. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. I see. I see the gamers in our game that are gaming. Are you dropping smoke field? I haven't dropped any smoke fields. The only time that duoing there is actually a time when duoing is bad. So if you're high plat rated on NA, I'm all, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speak for EU, even though I would assume it can be similar, but I'll just I'll just kind of be genuine for NA. Um so on NA, if there are four duos queuing or three duos queuing, it is better to be a solo than a duo. Because whichever team you get put on, as long as the numbers are even, you'll always be the advantaged pug, right? Because think of it like this, right? Like let's say like Anya and I are queuing. And then Naru and Helio are queuing, right? We're always going to be on opposite teams. So if Grim queues, whichever team Grim gets on, they're going to be extremely favored. So that's one of the times that it's actually better to solo. Now you could say, what if you duo? If you duo, and let's say it's like two duos and two duos, then it still benefits to solo queue because whichever team gets the better solo queue pug still wins the game. Oh, Dub Thief, Willy, Orev, and Moosmer. Fuck! Eve's still on me. Just gonna reflect all that shit back. I think Mesmer opened on me as well. Play Terrain before I return so I do not get ass blasted from Narnia. Damn, can you imagine if I no scope that shortbo like sneak attack man? He stole, which is fine. I'm gonna miss the steal on purpose, but I should kill him, so it's fine. Fuck! Oh my gosh, stealth is so fucking lame. Like, I like stealth, but not when it's, like, abused to this quantity. It's so boring. I think, like, single stealths and stuff are really cool. Or, like, having one source of stealth. I think, like, even on Ranger, like...
I'm dead. Yeah. I couldn't shadow step. Oh, that's actually very anti fun. Just the whole interaction of the thief getting to perma reset. I mean, I should have left and there was counterplay, but I just hate being forced to like basically do nothing. I basically have to surrender that I cannot kill the thief. Ooh, big signet. Ugh, interactions like that just annoy the shit out of me. I think they're 3v1 and Anya's in that fight, so I'm gonna go middle instead. Yeah, they got the kill naturally. Oh my gosh, and he's tunneling me. Z, 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 Z. I'm gonna go far because I don't like this team fight. I wanna split the map three wide so that Anya can rotate. Their thief matches me great. If I get free far, I'm just gonna full cap here probably because I have nothing to do until buff comes up and then I'll take a 1v1 on buff. But like if I'm, I'm not gonna play for kills middle necessarily. Actually, it was probably it was probably fine to play for kills, but this is also probably fine. So I just disengage out the 1v2 and then I can contest sword by the time it's up. And I'm going to walk all the way to the back corner, and the reason is because if I walk far enough away from the Willbender, he'll lose targeting on me. And then if he loses targeting on me, he can't port on me. Yep, which I think is what happened. Or he didn't have JI. Both of those are fine. I didn't get my steal, but he actually ported into... Did I just 1v2 them? I did. So the secret to that 1v2 was um, not letting the thief land a PD3 on me. And they have two of those fucking builds. Blech. I just chased the Mesmer. I don't really give a shit about the full cap. Cause it's just it's just an unbelievably free matchup. Reflect pistol always. Play LOS open. Oh my gosh, man. Big damn. Now I'm just gonna spawn camp the Mesmer because it's free real estate. Like, he can't do it. Like, basically, I'm just gonna trap a kill permanently where he can't have presence on the map and it always gives me value. I still need the Invuln, which is bad, but whatever. Shield 5 is so impactful. Whoa! I still cancel this so that by the time the stomp ends, I can steal. Probably. No, it's close. <gasps> no, I'm probably fucked. I think I got him actually. I want to dagger storm because I'm actually not sure where the thief is. Yeah, I was right. I got him. No! Dagger 2 clipped me. Ouchie. T 
team. I had to kill 1v2 and fold. Please save me. Interesting. They're inspy. They're inspy zerk. Oh shit, hoarded. Yeah, Dagger 2 hit for 4.6k off of one return. This, by the way, Anya. I don't know if I make it in time. I probably don't. Let's see. Fuck. Hmm. I think he used Midnight and Illusion. Yeah, he has nothing. I'll just leave. Oh, the fucking weakness, man. Who the fuck you think you're porting on, dog? Oh my gosh, SDT feels disgusting. I'm dead, probably. One second bleeding. <laughs> I want to live so bad. Please. <laughs> I have nothing. I have to catch OC here. I'm dodging across. Oh, we're risking it. Don't do it. Ah, cringe. Oh my gosh, they're on my ass, Insta. Okay. I'm gonna play for I'm gonna play for home and then I should go far here because I want to reset the mesmer because the mesmer is slowly dying to the thief. The thief is actually playing really good. He missed steel on me, which is actually kind of good. I got that, so he's immobilized here-ish. Ew, he's DP too? Ew. Uh, the only reason I'm lingering is because he's actually pretty close to dying. All right. So the Mesmer's health is basically reset and now I can leave. I would like to kill the thief, but it's taking too long. But I only came because my Mesmer was dying. Oh 
And now, now I can do the same exact thing again and again. And I'll just loop this, because the, the thief does kill the Mesmer eventually. Like, Mesmer has no matchup into this. It's not that the Mesmer is, like, bad or anything like that. Except thief is fucking stupid. And Mesmer is dog shit. Yeah, if the Mesmer turned invisible, that was kind of his fault, because it was too early. I think the thief stole on me, actually. We need to be really careful about this outnumber because we're going to eventually lose the rest of the map. I no ported, which kind of sucks. Good shit on you. Dodge? He has a dodge. He's gonna dodge nothing. Never mind. Ignore the rev, he's on a do nothing spec. GG. What button do I have about face button to? My mouse. Ugh. Is Thief better after patch? Hell yeah. Thief one monthly on EU. On SD. YoV changing gives me anxiety. Stop please. Never. I don't get to enjoy SD Thief very often, so I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy my cope today. We'll do a couple more games. Or you can tell I'm having fun because it's two hours and 30 minutes. Run boy run goes perfectly, I agree. Sword looks balanced. Definitely not. Did I get partner? On Twitch I did. I did get Twitch partner. Will Bender so bad into Thief? Um... I don't know. Maybe. If the Willy touches me, I think I insta-die. Probably marginally favored because of SD specifically. In DP, I think you can trade with Thief pretty well. All my Guardian takes are so skewed because I've I've played against Naru so much and he, he plays all the matchups to their fullest, you know? Nothing feels free. Here's what we're playing right now, boys. Boys and gals. Just kidding. There are no female PvPers. X D D D D D D D D D D D. This, if you like the HP, you can play Hollow Smith Rune instead, because 13k is pretty low. I think Anya said he was playing Vampirism if you want like a lot of HP. I would never change firework, always play Zerk. I think exploitation is 90% bis. And then I've been playing Opportunity. I don't think that this is a must. I think like Revo is okay. Even Absorption might be fine. You could play, I mean, Energy is probably fine. Revo, Purging. I think all of those sigils like make some level of sense. You could try Savagery, honestly. I, does, does Savagery affect days? Hard to tell. I don't really care about the damage, maybe, but definitely things to think about and test. I think Revo is, like, probably too cute to be, like, this. I think Opportunity, unfortunately. Opportunity or Compounding. I think Compounding is insane if you play Signet of Shadows. 
I think this is really fucking good. Unintuitively, Glass Circle Bender does bust in against Thief. Those are the ones that killed my Thief in Warby World. Yeah, I don't know. But Warby World is also different. Willbender is a lot stronger in Warby World than PvP, I think. Zerkami? Always, only, ever. Man, I was I was so sad. When Patch dropped, I came home and I instantly got on Mesmer and I was like, I don't care about NG, I don't care about Thief, I don't care about Necromancer. Like, these classes got some cool changes. I was like, I want to cook on Mesmer. And I, like, put together three builds. And I had, I had Support Chrono, I had... Bondi Mesmer and I had Power Mesmer and I played Power Mesmer first and I was like, man, it actually just feels super underwhelming. You, you know, like when I'm playing Thief, like you can visually see like insane like buffs. Like you're like, wow, this is visibly a lot better. When I was playing Mesmer, it didn't feel that way. I was like, okay, the Fury is like, okay, but like it doesn't actually feel like I'm doing that much damage. This is not damage mods. So I was kind of like, eh. And I played Condi Mez because I wanted to see if Condi Mez could take better advantage because one of the things about Power Mesmer is Firework Relic. Um, you don't get quite as much out of as you probably think. So dropping evasion relic for a DPS relic, all the DPS relics on Mesmer are kind of bad because split surge doesn't proc thief. So it's like, it's like, it's okay. Like it's not, it's not like huge. Like thief getting like multiple 10% damage mods is really good. Like simultaneously. Um, so then I was like, well, you know, maybe because you can play, you can play Link's rune on Mesmer, on Condi for movement speed. And then, you know, I have Perma Perma Vigor, so I don't need Evasion anymore. So I can pick up, like, Mirage Relic or something. And I was like, ugh. Feels so bad. Because the, the thing about Kani Mez is it's just it's projectile-based, no matter what you play. And just projectiles are poo-poo. Core with Brawler and Chaos. Ew. Or Mesmer. Yucky. Also, like, super dog shit and slow. Respectfully. You probably live, but your damage is probably super low. And you can't hold a node. That's the other thing. Mesmer is not a side node class. Change my mind. Yeah, it is shite. <laughs> and, of course, Kani Chrono is insane. Insanely good. Like, any anything with, like, the Inspi mantra, like, support. People are calling it support. It's Bunker Mez. Bunker Mez that can also heal teammates. Um... All those builds are good. The last mess. Yeah. I feel that. Which one lasts longer? Bound is only four seconds. Yeah, so you'd bound second. You'd like use a movement skill and then bound. Because steel gives initiative, right? Oh, so does dodging. Okay, got it. Practicing thief? I only play for fun. Practice for what? I don't play I don't play tournaments. I don't play ATs. I can't remember the last AT I played. Oh, I played with Toxos. Too drab, dark, and gray. It definitely just lacks color. When I was I went to lunch, I went out to lunch today. And I was like, steel wage. Hmm. R. <laughs> Based. Big steel. I think traditionally I would definitely say Condi... Um, Condi Reaper does very well into Thief, so... Gwimjack. I'm trying to, like, really think about what I want to play. Because... I think it depends on how hard I want to respect Steel's Condies. Hmm. Because, like, agility is probably going to be really good. Wait, Tempest?
The thing I don't like about this in particular is that this is a small map, so Grim going support is actually going to be very annoying. Yeah, this is the fight I don't want to be in. I'm not trying to, like, ego beat their duo. I'm trying to take advantage of the... F so, so this this is how this game goes. Grim and Steel are playing Support and Reaper. So whatever fight they're in is always going to be high impact because they're built around it. So what I'm going to do to counter, like, their duo is basically say... Oh my gosh. Is going to say, I'm fast as shit, and I'm going to farm your team faster than you guys can match me and react. I got the glyph, because I'm him. Now I'm probably dead here, but... Yeah, three kills. We, we popped off really hard there. He's full anti-power, holy shit. Huge. So, us winning that fight actually stemmed for me, sacking middle to plus, right? And then the scrap, the Hollowsmith matched, but I was too fast, and that's the key. The speed of, of deciding to not take that fight middle, and then after we killed, after we got the kill far, which was instant, then we got the kill, um, and then we got the kill on the Hollowsmith and Rhodes, and then when they tried to salvage, we also got the glyph, and at that point, you're just ahead on every margin. We're gonna peel back a little bit because we're trying to alleviate some of the pressure of... Yeah, I don't have initiative, which is fine. All right, Steel's coming, we leave. Actually, maybe we don't have to leave. Thief's looking at me from behind. Oh no, it was Rifle Terror, that's fine. the fuck? Why is Anya playing Wells? We, we're, we're playing our lives here, and notice our team had the time to 2v1 close and get a kill on the Hollow Smith. So basically, all we're doing, and this, I don't know, this is that alt kid, the Melody account. This kid's very, very, very good. Oh! Damn! Chunky! So now I'm gonna push the third node, because all I'm doing is, I'm pulling Grim. This, this whole game for playing Thief is all about me making the Tempest uncomfortable. And the more that the Tempest is uncomfortable, the more I'm doing my job, right? So look, Grim now has to go match over here. So what do I do? I'm already middle on his duo. CC the Shroud. Strip the prot. <sighs> that sucks. I ported back into the Heartseeker. We're actually plus one technically. Oh, we lost this fight because the kid capping actually made this outnumber and not get rewarded because I plus steel first because steel is better in the 1v1. Not the end of the world, but definitely feels bad because we should have positive momentum for this exchange and we actually have negative momentum because Grim got rewarded for outnumbering and we got punished because our number got converted to capping close because our Tempest is playing some goofy side node shit, I think. Not the end of the world, but but definitely not how PvP is supposed to be. Oh my gosh, not only did I not port up, 
<gasps> what the fuck? Shadow Step went on cooldown. Oh, like that feed. Like, I didn't. I didn't get my port. Don't, don't, Anya, Anya, Anya. You are trolling out of your mind. You cannot res this. This is. I do not believe. Not possible. We have a 200 point lead, so we're gonna pretend that everything that happened in the last 10 seconds didn't happen. But anyways, that's so lame. I, I like I click shadow step to get out of that, and it goes on cooldown, and I don't port, and I don't stun break. <laughs> Three second CD. Oof. I did a lot of work. I'm gonna just chill and play my life here. And I'm pulling 1v2 far. I mean, it's fine. I just have to deal with this. If they don't win middle, we can't win this game. Because if, if I'm able to like pull the node, like I pull one out so far and I pressure the kill and I pull Thief and like I, I, I realistically can't do more than this. Departure. He knows to bleed. Not bad. This is kind of bad because the fact that our team is basically playing. Yo, Melody. Can you avoid Tempest for me and start taking 1v1s? Yeah, yeah, I got you. So basically what I need now to, to win a little bit more comfortably is I want... I'm gonna Sharpo auto the rifle turret and hope that it would bounce to the thief. <sighs> Fucking thief is on me, dude. Reaper here is probably enough by itself. I don't need to stun break. I killed Thief 1v2. Excellent job by a Reaper. That was perfect, dude. Reflect for Photon. This is dog shit. Like, this is where I just never want to be. We're getting free far, right? So this fight's actually gonna be lost because the Tempest is gonna cap home for free. So this fight is always gonna be lost. The Reaper's always gonna get sacked because they're at, even though we killed the Thief, so it's 4v4 with me in the fight, we're not playing to win these fights. These fights are troll. Yeah, see how I get evaporated really easily in these fights? Uh, we need to... Man, the Tempest, this Tempest is so shit, man. Like, he instantly got decapped close, and then he gave them value far. Now this kid gets 3v1 for free. It's not, it's not his fault. It's just that the Tempest, the Tempest is basically making rotations where it's impossible for anyone else on the team to get value. This is huge because... I need to live more than anything else. Wait, no way I die here, right?
I would love to port to the thief. <sighs> Are you fucking serious, man? Anya's dead. Anya playing Chrono here was really troll because the Chrono was basically saying we want to take team fights, but I don't think we want to take team fights. I think we want to be playing three, especially because our hollow is rotating so well. So what are we getting here? This is the same matchup we just got. I'll die for this. I'll die for this. We just needed a little bit more. The reason that I put down the choking gas instead of trying to res Anya there at the very end is because once they have two people resing Anya, we're never going to win the rally without someone stomping. And because someone wasn't stomping, even if I hold Anya, they're always going to res first and then I'm going to get counter pressured anyways. So basically the only way that we salvage that is our Reaper has some type of spike of damage and I choking gas to interrupt the resing so, so that we get the kill. It's okay that we didn't get it, but yeah, four deaths, yikes. Oh, I don't think I get decap because of that. Maybe I do. Fuck, I'm dead. Dude, I got 1v2'd for so long, and I only died because I got stuck in the animation lock of my heal. This is just really gay. There's nothing I can do. I'm perma 1v2, and they chase me to both nodes. I actually self-res here because it's worth keeping him out of the fight because I can keep porting towards the node. So the next port, I might decap, and this is fine because oh, we lost we lost so many ways. The fact that every time I get outnumbered, we don't get any conversion value on close is just why it's so hard for us to win fights. Tyler would have gotten that res. What, on me? Dude. Tyler's support arc is so funny to me. Wow, this is losable, man. Yeah, Grim and Reaper are close. We're kind of forced to take this fight, no? Oh my gosh, the hall is instantly looking at me too. Cause basically I want to like do shit. Who is this? Oh my gosh. I knew better than that. I ate the tether on purpose. Well, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Why am I 1v2 still? Like, what the fuck? I actually have no team. I I've been outnumbered the entire game by DHX. I'm dead again, dude. I'm dead! Mm.
dude. GG. Steel's coping like we had the worst team, which I think is fucking crazy. Dog, that's... I mean, it's still a good game, but that was fucking... I think we lost because Anya went support because he couldn't get value. Which wasn't like an Anya being bad at Mesmer thing, it was a comp thing. Because it basically forced, it to, forced us to take team fights into Reaper when they had the way better Reaper. Minus 17. Actually, not bad. Dune Cloak 2.0 gives Veil after two clone shatter. I don't know how cool it is. I I haven't really played it. I don't really care to be honest. Every name you're clicking on is a hundred percent. It's crazy. What do you mean? Oh, like name like target? Nothing to plus one and map is perma lost. Yeah, I think it's mostly because Anya and I just had like different like. I mean, first off, I think their team was way better. I think our Reaper was lost in the sauce because we had and our Tempest. I think our dude between the Tempest and the Reaper, I definitely just think we had way worse players. But I didn't get to see the Thief, so maybe their Thief was like bad. But their temp their Thief was killing our Reaper one v one, right? But the, the, I think the biggest thing that contributed to losing that game is actually the map because it's so much harder to, to play Thief and have impact on small maps because it's easier for them to like mix fights. Like if we have like a team fight middle and a 1v1 far and you push far. But I also think they misplayed really hard because if you notice off the beginning of the map after the first team fight, we, we plus far killed DH who was 1v1ing. And the whole emphasis is that I got to plus something that was already pressured instead of being forced to team fight. And then after that, we killed the NG, we got the Glyph, we killed Grim, we killed Steel, team wipe. And that was about a 200 point lead. But then after that, they started playing their comp correctly. And then we got locked out because we couldn't counter adjust. Steel talking shit in map chat is kind of fucking crazy though. He said, imagine losing that. Is that what he said? What did he say? Hold on, let me double check. He said, imagine losing this LMFAO. And I said, the fuck you mean? Your team is way better. And he said, cope. That's crazy out of you. What's up, Neppy? All right, so 17, 17 is 34. So it's 7, 14, uh, 2. We're definitely up, but not nearly as much. Steel is just a memer. Oh, I know. I think it's cancer, though. I don't like um, typing. I don't like typing. Steel Rage is your favorite English speaker. Interesting. Oh, Anya's build is also scuffed. What well were you playing?
Oh yeah, they buffed Well of Precog. Dude, Precog is so fucking dog shit. It's a 45 second cooldown. Blech. Oh, that's so fucking bad. Those coefficients are so garbage for a 40 second, a 45 second cooldown cast time stun break. Ugh. It stun breaks teammates, I hope, right? You just run stab mantra? Yeah, no, I agree. Stab mantra got nerfed. They didn't PvP? <sighs> Do I have responsibilities as an Eagle Scout? Nani? I wish. I was really glad that I was in Boy Scouts when I was, because right about the time I was... Actually, it was after I had aged out, but I had stayed with my troop for, for my younger brother who was in it. It went completely woke, man. That shit was so fucking lame. They ruined Boy Scouts. They, like, let the girls in, and it's, like, literally my home troop. I think when I joined, it was brand new. It was, like, 20 people. When my gen joined, and then the next two years, we got up to, like, 150. It was huge. It was a huge group of kids. And by the end, after they let the girls join, it went back down all the way into, like, the 30s. And then the troop completely died, and, like, the, the adults didn't want to run it anymore in, in a year. It was really, really fucking lame. All the dads that were, like, a part of running Boy Scouts, like, they were, like, happy to, like, let their daughters, like, come and be a part of it. But then, like, when the dads brought their daughters, they just completely abandoned all the boys. And it became all, like, the, like, we would be like, yo, let's go do a four-mile hike. And they'd be like, the girls can't do that. We'll do two. And then we'd be like, but we used to do six. And they're like, yeah, but they can't. And it just, it just completely warped everything it was. And it was terrible and miserable and unfun. What's about what's bad about girls being in Boy Scouts? The fact that I can go camping with I can, I can go backpacking with a 60 pound pack for 40 miles and they they physically cannot. Damn. No big game angle though. Every time I swap off Infull, I actually just think Infull is slightly better. Might just be Biss. Or moi. I bet you had the most likely to be a Mesmer main patch. No, I didn't play Mesmer back then. I played Thief. Of course you're a Boy Scout? Dude, I loved Boy Scouts. Oh my gosh. It's like special forces type of stuff. Well, it's because when we were in the troop, the younger boys couldn't carry, um, couldn't carry their full pack. I remember, I remember there was this one camp out. We had this guy, like this guy was like, oh my gosh, he, he wasn't like that tall. I mean, he was probably like six foot two, but he was a big boy. This, this man was pushing like 180 pounds plus easily at like 17. And we go on this backpacking trip and it was when I was like really, really young and it was really hard. Like when I went backpacking, I was like, man, like I'm fucking dying. Like you want to cry, like your feet are like raw because you've never hiked before and you're not experienced and you forget stuff at home and like you're all by yourself and it's raining and you're, you're backpacking. And there is this one other kid in my age group and he was just doing a little bit worse than me and he couldn't keep it together. So he's crying. This fucking man walks up to him, grabs his backpack in addition to his backpack and just does the whole the whole trip with two backpacks on top of carrying like like steel pants and stuff i was like this guy is fucking insane Oh, it's fucking Arky. Oh, 
I'm spawn camping the shit out of Ark in this game. Goodbye, King. Sleepy time. Thief is close, so I don't have to worry about Thief jumping on Anya. On your ass like panties. There's a dodge. Oh. What the? He, he pre casted the pistol shot? Might be dead at Thief. Eh. Surely he dies. Okay, I was like, what? It's actually so funny to me that they made SD Thief good, like when Chrono was good. Like, I, I, I don't think it was like, oh, Mesmer's good, time to buff SD Thief. But it is just like so funny to me, like the timing, because it's like. SD Thief just cooks Mesmer so hard. Holy shit. <laughs> Big damn. <laughs> you know one change I really think they need to make in Guild Wars 2? I think they need to create the stat distribution to every class baseline. Flat rate. They, you, like the fact that heavy classes were designed to have like more toughness or some classes have more HP. I think that every class should actually just have the same stats for PvP. Because like you get punished, like it makes it makes balance so much harder to to do well. We're like losing sides and we're like have a teammate dead in this. I mean I haven't done anything but
Kobe. I think he gets the stays. Yeah, he does. Cute little 2v3. Oh my gosh, she almost did a first try. That would've been crazy. Again, again, again. Yeah, paramilitary training. I mean, I thought it was great for me. It taught me a lot about like discipline and then respecting like a leadership format. You know, it also taught me things about like camping, you know, shooting guns, archery, how to take care of like knives, axes, machetes, just take care of blades in general, start fires, you know, live outside. Like it, it was, it was a good, um, it was good. What are the weapon skins I'm using? These are the Ascalonian Catacombs weapons from the dungeon track. Only time I ever shot a rifle is in Boy Scouts? Yeah, it was fun, man. Like, people, like, it's so funny, like, how big guns are. Like, guns are, like, such a real thing. But, like, most people have never handled. Like, I remember the first time I shot a shotgun. Like, you actually shoot a shotgun. I was like, oh, wow, this is what I expected. Same with, like, a pistol, a rifle, um, AR. Like, it's it's really interesting to, to shoot them. And then, you know, hunting rifles were a little bit different. You know what's funny? You know what happened this past year? So, when... My buddies are home from college, uh, the ones that go out of state. When they come home, we love to just like, you know, one, one of my hobbies when I'm not playing video games is I I would do woodworking and I like make axe handles. So, you know, I've done that a little bit on stream. I think I've streamed two axe handles that I've made before. So anyways, you know, I, uh, a couple months ago, I was working on, you know, making axe handles and all this stuff. And some of my buddies wanted to like get into, get into learning some of these skills because I thought it was cool. Well... One day it starts raining, like in the in the evening, and it was like misting, but it was still light out. It wasn't like super, super, super heavy rain. It was just like chill. It wasn't super windy. And I got bet that I couldn't start a fire in the rain. So after it was like really wet and nothing was dry, I got to like go outside and I just built a fire like outside my house. 
and you know we have a fire pit and all that stuff so it, it wasn't like it was like anywhere crazy but one of our neighbor comes up and they're like hey man your house is on fire i already called the police for you you need to get out now and we're like no no like i have a fire pit they're like no no it's raining it's raining you can't do that you have a fire in your house i can see it and i was like no come in i'll show you he's like no your house is on fire and then you know obviously the fire department showed up and i was like yeah no no fire and they're like well can we like come in and check please and just make sure everything's good i was like sure it's outside the house in a fire pit <laughs> but yeah holy shit that auto mod is hilarious <laughs> <laughs> ever shoot black powder rifles oh my gosh <laughs> oh, i wasn't ready for that i have not i have not shot a black powder rifle You'd keep me safe when society collapses? Oh, man. I'll, d depending on the nature of it, just like living outside with no technology. Oh my gosh, that would be... That would be amazing. You ever feel you have to make axe handles? Dude, that was me two nights ago. I went to bed at like 5 a.m. because I just like started. And I was like, oh, dude, this is it. This is, I was chilling. Ever shoot snipers? Um, I have not. I don't think I've handled, I mean, I've, I've handled hunting rifles. Um, but nothing, n nothing of like a large cow like you would use on like people. Nothing, nothing like that. Although, when I was a kid, man, I was, I don't remember how old I was, we would shoot BB guns, and I, I actually ended up getting a, a pretty nice scope. And uh, setting up the scope, I found absolutely infuriating as a child, because it would just be like, you know, if you're not a good shot without a mount, it's, you, you're not realistically ever gonna get it accurate. And uh, I, remember, I just remember being a child getting very mad. Would be amazing until the antibiotics run out. Yeah. Weak, weak immune systems. Find a zero scope as a kiddo? I mean, you had to learn. Whenever I try to build something, it stresses. Dude, I find it so relaxing, man. Oh, I was actually supposed to go out today. I was going to stop at a lumber yard and pick up some some new planks and I just didn't do it. I wish I did. I'm going to do that tomorrow. So, okay, so let me just give you guys the TLDR. So I'm streaming today because I was gone for a long time and I streamed a little bit last night. I will probably not be streaming tomorrow because I actually do want to go out and buy some planks, uh, get some IRL stuff he's done. And the issue is I can't do that and stream because if I go out and buy planks, I'm going to be working on them for at least six hours. Favorite type of wood? Um, I mean, it kind of depends. Like if I was burning something, I, I really like, you know, the dense hardwoods that burn forever, like oak. Like oak is so awesome. But I think I've worked the most with cherry. I don't like the soft woods like pine. They're just so shit. All right, we have melody, which means we're against steel wage. Anya, here is the plan. We throw this game and perma tunnel steel and teabag until he respawns. Thoughts. Beach. Beachwood. Softwood's so bad in high humidity. Have you ever worked Aspen? Um, I might have worked Aspen when I started because I wasn't really aware of what I was working with back then. Like, that's when I started, uh, like, what? I worked with, what was it? It was Osage Orange, and there was one other one that I worked with a ton and just had no idea what it was. Walnut. I worked with a ton of Walnut. 
Which is funny, because like I would like walnut, you'd be like, oh yeah, that's walnut. You wrote the book on handling wood? Respectfully, Zyph, we're not talking about that kind of wood, buddy. I, I know the book you wrote, King. You, you don't you don't need to, you know? Steel wage. Black walnut is expensive. Yeah, one of my family members uh, for Christmas a couple years ago, they got me like this, this assortment of like exotic woods and they were just sick. There was, there was one, I can't remember what it was called. It was so fucking dense. Oh, also, love olive wood. Olive wood is sick. And sent to Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Steel's like, what is my team? <laughs> they both just did not, not press any buttons. <laughs> Steel, I'm waiting for you like a shark, man. I'm ready. Ooh. Yeah, fucking kill him. Dude, I don't know. I don't know who the Hollow Gamer is. Yo, if you can hear me, Hollow, uh, type uh, L in team chat. Okay. I don't. I don't know who you are, and it's okay because I get you like you like to stay anonymous. But you're a fucking animal, dog. <laughs> you are. You are a ranked Q demon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Fuck. your mind out of the gutter pink boy no 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 dog oh, what is my chat brooke l i recognize the account name but don't know who it is dude i hate this map <laughs> no. I wonder why Steel is actually in PvP. Because. Said I'm not emotional like you. Eh. Not wrong, but you know, anyways. Oh my gosh, I'm afraid. Give me the fuck out. This is gonna be the most based shadow return. Oh, he didn't return. Reason I jumped down? Necromancer was scary. I'll wait forever, King. Wow, the 700 damage, huge.
Dude, I hate Warrior. I actually just don't... I don't like the design of it. I don't mind that it's good. Yikes. Ooh, give me the fuck out. Give me the fuck out! Oh, that cluster hit. It was like a fadeaway. Oh. Nice block, game old. I'm gonna just stomp because it makes me happy and comfortable. I want to feel safe. So I was reading. They're talking about Warby World. I don't know anything about Warby World. Here's a roll. Is a roll. Use it. Ugh, Ebola. Fear. Dodge. Is death magic the way? I thought everyone was playing blood. We traded worth. Anya saved. Anya's dead. He gets pulled. Oh, no way. No. On here, fucking let me die. <laughs> he actually threw so hard. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna say what I want to say, but I'll type it. <laughs> oh, now I see map chat. I see. I don't really know what to do about that. Or not map chat. That was a good dodge. I, I see what they're drawing on my map. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about it. Dude, SD is so fucking funny. Three. 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 Dude, that's fucking crazy. Like, <laughs> is Chill Reaper bad? No, I think Reaper is good. I just like beef. Space Force. 39.6% of the USA population is obese. How do you feel about that? Dude, actually the last the last time I went out, we I went on a double date yesterday with my brother and his fiance, and we're sitting at the restaurant, and I just sit down and I just look around me, and I'm like I'm like, dude, why the hell is everyone so like obese? So he, here's my philosophy. 
people can do whatever the fuck they want and it's none of my business that's that's the first part so like in the in the very like i don't care you can do what you want that's the side on the other side when i care about people like being fat is just like factually unhealthy you know and like i feel bad for you because like I'd, I'd rather encourage you to live a healthier lifestyle so like but it's it's about health like i don't give a shit about aesthetics or anything like that like you do you boo There's a 0% chance after someone was typing on my map. I'm not, hold on. I'll, hold on. Okay, this is acceptable. I received a lot of wood. Death magic is the way? Oh, I didn't know that. With Reaper Relic. Okay, 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 okay. SD is the balance limit it needs. I agree. The Wally plot? Yeah. You saw some hardwood in there too? Really? You'd be looking a little too hard there, dog. Song gets annoying. Just stop staring at my mail, dude. Dude. Damn. Dude, these skins are so cool. These are like some of my favorite 2013 skins. Like, whoa. You ought to empty that mailbox? Right. Like, um, yum, 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 yum. Oh my gosh. Bust the nuts. Dog, these males are so funny. Okay, this one's not that good. Here's your weekly allowance. Trash noob can. For 2069. Buy yourself something nice, you slut. Let me google that.com. Q, how to get better internet. Don't waste nine people's time. That's a bear. I'm a homeless guy. This is a banger. I must be poor. Did you see his house so ugly? True. <laughs> Dude, this account has my best mails. Oh my goodness. Full sword buddy. Don't call me buddy, Zyfe. That's disrespectful. Dude, SD is so damn fluid. Mm. Like the stow cancels, it, it flows actually really well. You're in gold, bro, bro. He's on slicky shoes. What the, Salos? No, the thief is on me! Losable, losable! We never queued because of Anya. All right, I think we're going to call LG. I got one more in me. Not LG? Why? 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 Put more dog. What? Dude, four hours. Four hours. I'm glad I found. Why did I start playing SD? What what happened? Something happened. Oh, I played against Ambi. Ambi's playing Condi Deadeye, and that is so AIDS. And then it killed my cope on Condi Neck. Yeah, I was on I was on Condi Reaper. No, I was on Hollow. It killed my Hollow Cope. Cinda streaming. Damn, dude, Cinda's been going hard. 
does um what's what's her face Sinjiner's wife used to used to stream she doesn't stream anymore right I was thinking about that yesterday because I I remember um I can't remember her name it was like peach peaches peachy something like that peach 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 I don't I don't remember Ada what the fuck. What you need streamer is a house, wife, dog, and some nice woods in my backyard. Dude, that's the goal. I've actually been uh the, the past couple of we the past two weeks I've been doing trainings for like, you know, my career job. Cause I've been working a lot of part time jobs and I'm only I'm only twenty two. I still live at home, obviously. But I've been working on developing my skills to get this job that I have lined up and holy shit man, it's it's been great. I'm really excited. Um I don't start full-time obviously anytime soon because it's it, like it's i guess it's like an internship but i i was taking some classes while i was gone the past week i wasn't on vacation the whole time and I've, I've been really excited man i'm excited i think i think the plan is to probably get get married i don't think i'm gonna get a house um i don't know about a dog either um because i grew up with dogs eh. puppies are okay but anyways um yeah i'm excited been, it's been good. We've been we've been on the up. Be excited. A boy scout that doesn't want a dog. Well, okay. I'll put it like this. The reason I don't like dogs is because I had a dog when I was a kid, and the dog's death was rather unforeseen and tragic, and it basically made me be like, yeah. Although dogs are amazing, and, like, I like dogs in a sense, I don't like losing dogs. And I dislike losing dogs more than I like having dogs. That's that's actually the philosophy I have. Because I think my puppy, when it died, was, like, four? And I was like, yeah, you know, it's a part of life for sure, but, like, honestly, like, I'm good. I don't want to do it again. If you feed them meat? Yeah, I believe that. What kind of role is it? What? Beef? Run around and kill shit. That's basically all I try and play in this game. Oh, what are these cubes? Get me in there. Plus nine? Wait, we had one loss and made it back in almost two games. Oh, oh my internship? Eh, I'm not going to dox the IRLs. I'll just say, like, the current training is entailing sales, we'll say. Eh, it's not even true. It, it's kind of... Kind of everything. I do stuff and things, you know? Stuff and things, yeah, exactly. I don't want to talk about... I don't... I talk about IRL probably more than I should. I, I think I definitely prefer people thinking, like, having, like, loser basement monkey dweller image of me. I think it makes my life easier as a streamer. I'm just kidding, guys. There is no job. There is no family. There was no Boy Scouts. I just play Guild Wars 2, and that's, that's everything, man. Like, I wake up, 
And I'm not allowed to eat breakfast until I win five ranked games. Like, that's how hard we go, you know? And if I can't win five ranked games, I can't eat breakfast. Can't eat dinner until I stream, you know? Can't take a shower if there's a single red game. So, like, obviously I'm not showering tonight. Like, forbidden, you know? They even pay you for stuff and things. Based. Love that for you. That's exactly how Fennel treats Zin. What the fuck? Oh, what? They're Fortnite gamers now. I haven't seen them playing that much Goers 2. Okay, this is definitely last game. The downtime was too long. This Skyhammer game was close. I don't remember which game this was. Eat a bowl of nails every death? Goodness gracious, man. I remember when I first started making YouTube videos, I used to say, um, all the time. Because I, I was still developing public speaking. And although I was pretty comfortable with public speaking in person, online, I never had a script or anything. So I was basically calculating the words I was saying as I was speaking first time, because I just never read off a script. So when I would go back and rewatch my really old videos, people would like take like common stuff, like take a shot every time he says, um, and I would feel so bad. I felt so, felt so embarrassed. Can you imagine like every time, yo, Anya, we should do a next, another rank sesh. Every time we die, we have to take a shot. Although dude, I had, I had alcohol for the first time in four months yesterday when my, when my brother was home and we opened these beers that we got um that were just like sitting at the house and i had realized why the beer had existed in my house for so long it was terrible <laughs> it was so bad <laughs> we each open one and we take a sip and we're like nah we're done <laughs> we just poured that shit out so fast <laughs> it's like some goofy off brand <laughs> oh it was so bad coffee kiwi kubo Budget deeps, nerf ranger pets. Alrighty. Ladies and- Oh, they have double hollow dub thief with a support guard. Ah! That was the magnet pull. 100%. That's why I baited it. That was a good dodge. You're dead! Give me your ass! I don't have steel! Somebody do something! Dude, ow. That, that fucking cluster hurt. I'm in danger! Ha <laughs> And steal! I knew it. Oh my gosh, he almost no-scoped that shit. I almost died! Wait, my whole team died too.
The fact that I cooked the opener and we lost the op. Find your team, man. Fuck, that was a big misplay by me. I pulled the Guardian, which is actually huge value, though. <gasps> I'm dead. Fucking support guard killed me with the swift signal. <laughs> oh, the symbol. Fuck. He does not get this. Oh, that's so tragic. I have three people accounted for. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I believe in the warrior. What if he has banner? You know? Wow. Based out of the support guardian. I'll give it to him 110%. Dub NG Dub Thief Guardian. Oof. All right, I'm not. I'm actually not gonna. I'm not gonna touch far this game. So what I'm gonna do is, I think the way to play this game is, I'm gonna perma babysit home, and I want anyone on the other team to ever touch home, and then I'm gonna go viciously attack them, and then outside of that, all I do is camp looking at like middle. So I'm basically just gonna hard two because they're Dub Thief, but and the key is like I can actually match the Thief's mobility. I don't know. I don't know what happened in which they got snowballed so hard. S some goofy shit happened. Like, for us to get back in this game this hard. I miss old SD where you couldn't flanking three times in a row. I definitely prefer that version. Damn! Damn! <laughs> I wanted it way more. <laughs> the difference, I think, was that my first cluster crit and his didn't. So after we traded, he like played defensive options. He chose defensive options and I didn't. But I'm pretty sure if he got the hide in shadows, I died. Oh, that's so funny. Oh my goodness gracious, that makes me laugh. Dude, SD Thief kind of molests NG. Like, obviously, you have to trade well into them, but you definitely have the resources to just fucking blow your load. Pause. Three, 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 three. Got him. First try. Damn. Teammate, save me. No, oh, I don't want to die. Ugh. I think I get why Anet Anet hates bunkers now. I don't even think Anet hates bunkers because their game always has some fucking bunkers in it. I hate bunkers. Like if I was a dev, anything that could hold one v two versus two DPS classes would get nerfed next patch always. Fuck.
When in doubt, press one aggressively. One. 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 I'm gonna die. I'm dead, man. <gasps> no! Fuck! There was some passion in that. I wanted to live so bad. Well, I win. Alright, I, I gotta kill one of me too. Chill? Bro, I wanted to live! Like, I'm, I'm invested! <laughs> <laughs> My cope as a thief man has never been so high. I mean, you've had dead eye. Dead eye is still absurdly good too. Bunker turret ng ruined their ESL run. Well, on top of bunker turret ng, they also had bunker chrono. And the issue about bunker chrono is that they don't they don't implement band systems in Guild Wars too. Like, if you have bad balance, which is a hundred percent fine, it's like, oh yeah, this is a problem. Okay, so what do you do? Okay, we don't have the time or resources to invest to nerf this class right now. Okay, that's 100% okay. The The issue with that context is when something is broken, instead of changing it because they don't have the time, resources, or cap... I don't know how I detargeted there. Because they don't have the time, resources, or capability, the issue with ArenaNet is they don't just simply disable the trait, which they've done before, but if they did more often, I think the game would really thrive. Dog, who threes there? Like, what? Oh my gosh, this build makes me want to... Balls. Finally, holy shit. Ah, <sighs> oh, he's got the ops on his tail. Damn, dude, I still got chunked. Ouchie. Actually, going this way was wrong, because the other thief I've respawn can kill me. <gasps> I've, I've literally never believed more. <laughs> Fuck! I dodged the steal too! I just ran out of resources. Are we gonna lose this? 354, 450? I don't think so. <laughs> <sighs> the patch before HOT was top tier. Is that a normal thief build? I thought DD Kanye was annoying. Yeah, it's just like that only gets punished by like slick shoes, shocking aura, stuff like that. Ring of warding, hard CC, like crowd control skills that are uh, ground oriented, which I don't have on this individual build. Although it does exist on the class, technically. This is my full cap, and I will die for my full cap. So, you're dead. Because we got 3v2'd. And Anya's 1v1ing this shit. Oh my gosh, we're actually going to lose this game. I have to die on this. So, please! Bell, Bell, Anya, 
Bill! They win with Bill! Anya! Please, Anya! Yes, two ticks, we lose! No! <laughs> oh, GG. Oh my gosh, bro, that we actually threw that game. That's crazy. GG's. That was the last game. As the rule suggests. <sighs> Alright, hold on. Let's peek Twitch. I can throw out a raid today. And I'm gonna go get some food. I think I'm just hosting Sind. Big Cindy. All right, gamers and gamettes. <clears throat> I'm raiding Cindy so I can go eat food. Peace. Thanks for chilling, guys. Appreciate you all. Enjoy the rest of your night, morning, evening, afternoon. You know? And happy Easter to everybody. I, I know that I'll probably get to say it again closer to, but in case I don't, happy Easter. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. Take the Wade. Take the Wade.